guys and welcome back to my channel. So this is my first of what potentially could be weekly vlogs. I just wanted to try something a little different and new. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me here, but I post a lot on my Instagram stories and I really like that sort of like vlog style recording. So I want to try that in something that will live longer term than just 24 hours. I still am going to be posting consistently on my stories, but I think I wanted to showcase a little more in depth about, you know, some of the interesting things I'm doing or the people I am around or also just things that I talk about that are more informational that could live on this channel as well. I've also been sort of in a rut, so I think it would be a really good way to also help me sort of kickstart to try new things, do different things, and also really put more effort into the things I am doing. This week is sort of a busier week. Today is Tuesday. I've been out of town, got back into town yesterday. I was in Monterey. There's gonna be a video on that either before or after this. But yeah, it should be a fun week. Today I'm mostly gonna be working from home, doing laundry. Um, I do social media marketing and digital marketing for some clients, so I'm gonna be taking care of that. And then I also have an e-commerce photo shoot with Chris and Carol. I will be shooting it. They are one of my regular photography clients. So yeah, here we go. Let's see how this weekly vlog thing does. Hi, Kiki. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, on Instagram stories, I post little things every day. So for example, Monday, I do Amazon recommendations. Tuesday, I do Japanese word of the week. On Wednesday, I do Japanese culture 101. On Thursdays, I do a throwback of like an old video. Friday, I do a follow Friday for people that inspire me. And I also figured since I'm doing weekly vlogs, I should also do the Amazon recs on here for those of you that don't follow me on Instagram or don't have it. You could find links to all of these Amazon items in the description below. Some of them are flash sales, so please keep in mind that the prices may vary a little bit. So this week I focus on travel items. So when I travel, I really like to take pictures, but I don't always like to carry a lot of equipment or a really big camera anymore. I'm like way too lazy and phone cameras are way too good now. But to take it to the next level from like your regular phone camera, I use these little changeable lenses. I use them super religiously. They clip on super easy so you can put them on the front camera or the back. And I have actually put this through the wash on accident like three times. And it's, I mean, granted now it's a little blurry, but it still works really well, which is really impressive. But all in all, you can get like a whole kit with a bunch of different lenses and it's like $20. Next item I can't travel without are Bluetooth noise canceling headphones. These are the ones I use, they're Bohm. And they're noise canceling, so these are like a savior on the plane. This is the case it comes with. Really nice, hard case. And they're so cheap, they're like $50, but they're like on super sale right now for $29.95. Next item I recommend is Jetzone, which is a natural, way to fight jet lag. I get jet lag really bad, so jet zone, basically you just take it as you're on the plane, it's supposed to help. It has helped me in the past, sometimes it hasn't helped me, but I figured it's better than nothing. Next recommendation is packing cubes, which I have recommended before in past what to pack for Japan videos, so check that video out. I think it's actually gonna be on this side. Check that video out if you want to see other Japanese packing tips. I use packing cubes like crazy, so I'm gonna be linking some down below. Next are my favorite luggage tags. You can get a huge pack of these for 10 bucks. They are aluminum, they're like metal, they are heavy duty. Even this is metal. They don't get damaged. I have these on all of my luggage, and I you know use them when I travel, obviously, and they don't get damaged. I've never seen one ding. You can't bend it, like they're really, really great and it has all the info that you slide inside. And my last recommended item of the week is this Mophie external battery. It saves my life. I use this one when traveling. I have the same one linked below, different colors. Um, this one lasts a long time. I've been using this for probably like four or five years and it still holds a charge great. It's small, it's not that heavy. It's really, really fantastic. Okay, that wraps it up for the recommendations, so they're all linked below in the description if you want to get any. 
heading to Manpuku for a tasting. Manpuku is a yakiniku restaurant, which is Japanese barbecue. And it's not like American barbecue. It's more like Korean barbecue where you have a grill, like a personal grill on your table and it's like smaller cuts of meat. Uh, yeah, it's really good. Uh, Mangpuku is one of the more well-known yakiniku spots in LA. So we're gonna go try it out. A restaurant tasting or a media tasting is where the restaurant invites over different types of media like food bloggers or writers and they go and they try out new stuff so they can give press for the restaurant. Hey guys, it's now Saturday and I haven't vlogged for the past couple of days because I'm terrible at this. Oh my god, there's a cat down there. And the battery died. Um, so I was saying I've been just working from home and it's been pretty boring uh, for you guys at least. Not for me, I enjoy work. I also ran a couple errands which I just didn't remember to bring my camera and ate at some places which I just didn't bring my camera, I forgot. So I will slowly get better at it, I'm sure. Roy has been sick all week, which is really rare because his immune system is insanely strong. And I was so proud of myself because my immune system absolutely sucks. I get sick so easily, I get sick all the time. And I was so proud that I wasn't catching his cold. But I woke up today, my throat is a bit sore. And yeah, I'm feeling a bit under the weather. So I woke up, chugged emergency, wasn't feeling that great, took vitamins. And now I am going to drink this core shot which is probably not gonna to taste too good. This is the apple cider vinegar pressed one, which also has one billion probiotics, and that is not even be exaggerating, even though I exaggerate a lot. It does have aloe vera juice, which I like, but also has ginger, lemon, and coconut juice, which I don't like, so we'll see how this goes. Come by. Oh, this is actually not as awful as I thought. Wow, hmm. All done. Okay, oh, oh, it burns. I lied, it burns, but the flavor is not bad. <sighs> Today I have a lot of work that I need to get done, so I made some oatmeal, I'm gonna eat that for breakfast. I'm gonna prep next week's stuff for my social media clients as well as for my stuff. I wanna have everything ready to go so that way I don't have to struggle through the week and try to rush things as much. Today is also Pokemon Go Community Day. It is Lakoff. So hopefully I will be done with work to be able to go out and play a little bit. But yeah, let's try to get this Saturday going. As far as YouTube goes, I usually just watch my friends' channels, but if you have good recommendations, let me know in the comments because I'm looking for more. Mm -hmm. 